Hi, I'm Dr. Bob. Did you ever in here at a home that has a vent hood over the stove but no vent? Okay, so that's what happened to me. I bought this house. It's got a vent hood over the stove. We're going to point at it. This is it. But it's got a fan to nowhere. So, you know, if there's smoke in the house, you turn the fan on nothing happens. It's not going to go anywhere. So, I'm going to put in a vent hood. Actually, I've already got the vent hood installed. Now I've got to put in a pipe. That's what we're going to work on right now. Okay, so basically this is the configuration that we started with. Uh, it's, uh, as you can see, there's a vent hood over the stove, and what I want to do is, now what you can, what you see here is that there, there's, well there's a vent hood, and of course there's a cabinet over the stove. What's missing is the vent. So, and uh, since I had removed, the doors removed, you can see inside here, nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> So anything that has to be installed has to be cut. Okay, so I uh, made a trip to um, Lowe's or Home Depot, one of the hardware stores, and I bought this little two of these little guys right here, which go together to form, which uh, go together to form a one is a 45 degree angle. Okay. And I'm going to set these on the floor here. So, okay, so I bought these little guys here at Home Depot, or those, one of those two. Um, each one of these makes a little 45. So one will come out here and it will curve around. and. One will curve around uh, that way, and then the other curve around that way. And the reason why I'm doing that is because there's a there's a uh, a rafter in the way of going straight up. I would like to go straight up. Here's the straight up piece. All right, it's just a piece of tin. Okay, and I'll have to cut that to size because it's not exactly the right size right now. But um, that's one of the little pieces there. The um, other thing that's going to be important, and I don't have that here, it's going to be some of that silver tape. Okay. Um, and another thing I didn't show, but this is also going to be important. I need something to keep animals out because this is going to this is going to exhaust into the attic. So. What I did is I bought this little paint roller thing and this little paint roller and what I'll do is I'll cut I'll cut around here, okay? And then I'll you know make a little cuts this way so it'll fold down like that. So I'm gonna cut this. This this is a paint roller um, strainer. Um, so you can you can get this about two or three dollars or you can spend thirty dollars buying some of this uh, material. <laughs> or you know buy a big roll of hardware cloth you can buy this little thing your choice but this will keep rats and mice out and anything that might crawl up into my attic uh, since I don't want to go all the way to the roof all right, I'm just going to exhaust vent into the attic so um, all right All right, so one of the problems that I have right now is that there's a cross member up in the ceiling that's in the way. If I try to take this uh, straight up, I'm going to run into I'm going to run into a uh, a two by four if I go straight up above. So I need to move this over an inch or two, and uh, it looks like just this one would do it. And I'm looking. I know there's a two by four right there. And I can figure out roughly where it is. Hang on. All 
Alright, so, if I line these two guys here up, I know that they are face of two by four, and I look at that, and it looks like it still needs to go. Let me make sure I have these guys lined up. And it might go. I think the only way I'm going to find out is to poke a hole in the roof. So I've got to get one of those things angled somehow so that it goes around there. Or oh, I've got two of them. So. Yeah. Hey, I've got this one right here, and if I need, I've got a second one that I can also use to re-angle it a little bit further. But if I can just get away with one, then heck, I can take this back and get my money back. But uh, yeah, I think the only way I'm going to be able to know for sure is to put a hole up there, or I can measure. I can also measure and see exactly where that is, so I know where it is from over here. Uh, when I see it over there, I see this one over here. I know where those are. I can measure those. So I'm gonna get a tape measure. I'm gonna measure them. I'll put a mark right where that two by four is because I got. I need to be able to go around it. So let's do that. Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wherearemyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.